You know, I, I have been telling you uh, every day about what I did during uh, our spring break. And so today, I wanted to tell you about my time in Las Vegas. And I don't know if anybody have, has been in Vegas lately, but I went with John and my Emmy-nominated glam team, um, Theo and Rodney John. And we had a full weekend in Vegas. I had to do some work, but we had a couple days off. And first of all, we literally, because we all love eating, ate our way through Vegas. <laughs> when I tell you, I, if, if it's something that I love the most, it is eating. And we went to all, we got to go to all of the celebrity restaurants. We went to Martha Stewart's, we went to um, Emerald Lagasse's restaurant, we went to Lisa Vanderpump's Paris restaurant, and um, guess who took care of us at Vanderpump Paris? Garcelle Bouvet's son, Oliver Saunders, <laughs> took care of us. And I have to tell you, I have known Oliver since Oliver was eight years old. Uh, but he is not eight years old anymore. <laughs> Oliver is 33, all right? That means he's grown, and from the way he was carrying all those plates, he is really fine. Arms was just, <laughs> muscles were just coming out, and I said, oh, he not eight years old no more. And so, <laughs> he helped us. Then after that, we let, and I know Garcelle, I know that wasn't what you wanted me to say about Oliver, but you know he was fine <laughs> when you put, when he, I mean, anyway, he was fine. So, <laughs> we went to check out some shows in Vegas, and the first show was called Absinthe. And this is like a burlesque, a, a, like a risque burlesque variety show. It's in a circus tent and Caesar's Palace. It was so much fun. I was in tears because I was watching this duo, a, a Ming and Alexa, they were performing their number with the aerial straps. It was so breathtaking. And I said, I want to take lessons to fly up in the air, but I want some man to be lifting me up and like that. I want to do that. <laughs> I do. I want to do that. I want to, you know, maybe I can put that on my Bumble profile. Like, we could just <laughs> go around in the sky. Then uh, I was so inspired seeing the Tap Twins, Sean and John, perform their routine in the show. They were amazing. And I have to tell you, tap dancing is something in the African-American community that used to be so big. And I think it's a lost art. And uh, I think I want to learn how to tap dance, John. I really do. I, I, they were... I'm, keeping a I'm keeping a list of all the things you want to learn over here. Yeah, keep a list of the things I want to learn. Because tap dancing, it just it really moved me watching these two brothers tap dance. And then something else I want to learn after being at Absinthe and watching the, the uh, different um, artists is juggling. Oh. Because I've, so I, I was just in awe watching the performance number. It was called Water on Mars. And they were, ju they were juggling everything. And it looks so like so much fun. So I know I want to do tap, but definitely I've already set it up so I could take juggling lessons this summer. Because I oh. think it's just fun. It'll get rid of that granny stuff too going on <laughs> on my arms. <laughs> So then after that show, Absinthe, the crew, Absinthe, um, uh, my crew, and our friend Bevy Smith, oh. Bevy Smith was hanging with us. We went to, we went and we met the cast at Absinthe. And then, so I just would say, that's, if you're ever there, go. It's so much fun. And we, then we went to Cirque du Soleil. Is that how you say it? Uh -huh. Du Soleil. We went to see Michael Jackson one. Oh. That was phenomenal. It, I love the show so much that I made John find us some last minute tickets to go to Cirque's other show, O. Oh. Now, O oh was a little bit different from Michael, the Michael Jackson's, the MJ, which was spectacular. O oh was this like whimsical fantasy, it was set in water, it was synchronized swimmers and divers. I don't know if the people were dead or alive, they was just in the water moving around. And when we arrived at the show, there were some people that were sitting in our seats. I don't know what, you know, you tried, it, I didn't know what to do, but we had an usher named Riata who watches our show. And she said, don't you worry about a thing, I got you covered. And she, <laughs> she got the people because it was our seats. It was all the way in the back, it was our seats. Then she brought us drinks, she brought us popcorn, she just, just everything. So Miss Riata, it was really nice to meet you. So, we had a great time. Cirque du Soleil is just great.
they, 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 I've never seen any of their shows. They do it so big. That they nobody do, and they, does have, it like and they have a whole school where they teach the people how to do all of this uh, choreographed stuff. Mm -hmm. But back in February, uh, we if you remember, we had the men of Chippendales on our show. Yes. And I say, what is Vegas without going to see the Chippendale dancers? So we went and saw them in Vegas, uh, the, the Chippendale dancers. And I got to tell you, I had a good time living the fantasy of all those buff men and all that pelvic thrusting they was doing. You can tell these guys, they work hard. They really do. They, uh, when I went back there, there was so much choreography and production in the show. And in between me lusting, I was really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> what it took to pull the show together. So they were so sweet. And uh, from Dancing with the Stars, they put in celebrities in there. Uh, Glev Savchenko from Dancing with the Stars, he just joined the Chippendales. So he, we went to meet him backstage in the other cast. And when I tell you, these men, I, you know, I don't know what it is about these Chippendale dancers. I don't care how much you weigh. They can pick you up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Boy, and one bent down to pick me up, and I was like, it's 167. Can you handle it? He was like, yep. <laughs> They, oh my gosh. And then y'all, guess who they made an honorary Chippendale dancer? John Murray made this man. Oh my gosh. And Sherry. Now you know where I'm gonna spend my summer hiatus. Well, you better go and spend your summer. You got, you better learn to be doing some lifting, yeah. okay? But you gotta pay me to lift in Vegas. Well, the, yeah, we was. The money was going <laughs> flowing good. It, I, now we couldn't even get John to take his shirt off all the way through. He put the he put the bow tie on. But I usually don't like taking vacations. But I have to say, I had a great time in Vegas with my friends. We had a really really good time. Um, <laughs> Thank you, John, because you planned a great weekend. My pleasure. You did my a pleasure. great weekend. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna